For our next presenter, we have Megan He, who is going to Great. Thanks. Hi, everyone. Um, so the topic of my paper was uh, integrated water resource management for food security in dry land e ecosystems, especially in Ghana. Um, and as you can tell from this picture, food security is a major issue for many smallholder, smallholder farmers throughout sub-Saharan Africa. Um, so the world's dryland ecosystems are global hotspots in terms of water constraints to agri agricultural production, widespread nutrition insecurity, and poverty. Children in arid areas die during the dry season, not only due to the lack of clean drinking water, but also from the food insecurity that arises from water scarcity. Demand is constantly uh, increasing while supply is tightening due to the slow growth in crop yields from depleting aquifers, uh, falling water tables and over allocating rivers. So yes, uh, all of this traces back to being a water issue as agri agriculture is directly associated with water scarcity. Um, I examined this institutional approach, AGRA, um, Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa, which strives to transform the agricultural sector and its food system while safeguarding the environment. It builds an alliance of stakeholders with from a variety of backgrounds and develops and support and, and develops and supports technologies that will improve the livelihood of farmers and their families. Agriculture is essential to Ghana's economy, so supporting the agricultural sector um, and smallholder farmers will benefit the economy and provide opportunities to prosper for the farmers who represent 80% of total production. The last bullet point or the second to last bullet point, um, includes just some of their recent work based on their uh, progress report from last year. One of the themes of this course is that feminism is critical for a sus sustainable future, and this portion of my paper is just here to reemphasize that. Uh, female farmers raise yields 30% when supported, so it is crucial that women are fully involved in the agri process and they are responsible for 80% of food production. As we know, women farmers often remain excluded from public support, even in areas where women make the majority of farm decisions. Um, however, under AGRA, women farmers are now being empowered in new ways through the GA Farmers Association, and the two women listed here uh, actually have significantly increased their harvest in Ghana by leasing land from the association and implementing efficient agronomic practices under AGRA training. Uh, for productivity and equity reasons, women who are major stakeholders uh, must be involved in this farm decision-making process. So from what AGRA has claimed, uh, they have been successful in engaging women, so I thought that was relevant to this class. Uh, I understand that AGRA's primary focus is on agriculture, good farming practices, which are never actually specified in their report and seed availability, but none of this matters unless there is a sufficient water supply and fertile soil. So my recommendation for the future of AGRA is to direct more attention towards implementing effective and efficient water catchment and irrigation systems. Rain-fed agriculture is practiced throughout most of sub-Saharan Africa, but is also highly unpredictable as expected. So per ca and per capita, Per capita water withdrawal and storage levels here are the lowest of any region in the world. So I think it's essential that AGRA and relevant partnerships devise and establish a more efficient water harvesting or irrigation method in these dryland ecosystems. Uh, four decades ago, Ghana reactivated the idea of river basin development to restore balance between rural and um, urban development. Unfortunately, some, such projects have had certain negative impacts on livelihoods and ecosystems, such as loss of land, endangered, li endangered livelihoods, health risks, and intensive ex exploitation of biomass in the region. Um, one of my main recommendations for the future of Ghana is to implement a photovoltaic-powered drip irrigation system, or PVDI, which combines uh, drip irrigation and a solar-powered water pump. Uh, drip irrigation is the most rapidly expanding type of irrigation in sub-Saharan Africa and is much more water saving than spray or flood irrigation. And a 2009 study actually tested these PVDI systems in 
uh, the rural Sudano Sahel region of West Africa and found that it increased standard of living, nutritional intake, and income, which also enabled more people to purchase staple food items in the dry season. So I thought this would be a possible project for Agra to invest in in the future. And I, I also used uh, impact assessment to evaluate this, but I just didn't include it in here for sake of time. Um, and more recommendations. The Volta River Basin in Ghana could be the potential water source for drip irrigation. And as for the issue of low soil fertility in these dry regions, some recommendations I had are to grow nitrogen fixing plants, uh, such as these species. And the first one is actually drought tolerant, which is perfect. Um, another thing is composting. And uh, in this, in vermicomposting, earthworms uh, turn food waste into organic humus, which acts as a natural fertilizer for the soil. And that's it.